Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today we're starting a new chapter, chapter 8, and that's logic. Now what is logic? Well, the first thing that comes to mind when you hear logic is probably this. Sherlock Holmes, am I right? Am I right? Yeah? Well, even if it didn't come to your mind, this is a type of logic uh, that is used in uh, in philosophy, math, and, and computer science. But unfortunately, this is not the type of logic we'll be studying. So this specific logic is re referred to as abductive logic. And this is a type of logic that's uh, also used in things like medicine. So basically, when you observe different um, things around you and you try to make a conclusion out of it. So this is called abductive logic. Now, there's also two types of logic that's uh, usually used in math and sciences, except for abductive logic. And these are, so abductive is number one, obviously. There's also something called inductive logic, and that's when you... Um, and inductive logic can be explained as basically taking pieces of information and then try to come up with some kind of a conclusion uh, that will give you uh, uh, some, some sort of a theory or some sort of explanation for all these theories. So um, a simple example here would be, let's just say that uh, you have a teacher named Robert. So Robert is a teacher. And then we also know that there's a there's a general consensus 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 that all teachers are nice, all teachers are nice. Now inductive logic would suggest that that means that Robert is nice. Robert is nice. Now is it true? Maybe true, maybe not. We don't really know, but inductive logic here would dictate that it's true. Um, and the last uh, type of a logic we're going to be looking at in more detail is deductive logic. And this is actually what we're going to focus on in this chapter, deductive reasoning or deductive logic. And in deductive logic, there's really only two possibilities, either true or false or not true. So there's no in between like in the, in the inductive reasoning here, it's absolute. You have to have either true or false. So a good example here would be something like this. So let's just say there's a student named Larry, and if Larry is sick, then he will be absent. If Larry is sick, he will be absent. And number two logical statement here, deductive statement would be, if Larry is absent, and this is absolute statement, if Larry is absent, he will miss homework. This is actually narrow. He will miss, miss his homework. And so what conclusion can we deduct from here? And the conclusion is that if Larry is sick, he will miss homework. And this is an example of deductive reasoning. So essentially, there's only two possibilities, either true or false, and the, uh, all of the possible statements are very, very kind of uh, binary. There's only two possible solutions. So either true or false, either true or false, either true or false. But before we get into this, let's just start with something simple. So what is uh, a preposition? So what is a preposition? This is something that all logic is based on, preposition. And prepositions are defined simply as statements that can either be true or false. So it's a statement or a sentence that is only true or only false. So let's just come up with an example of a preposition. An example here would be, let's just say earth is flat. Now, this can be either true or false. Yes, it could be, you could say earth is flat, or if it's, uh, if it's true, of course, or if it's false, earth is not flat. Um, and uh, so basically a statement that uh, you can say yes or no to. Um, but what is not a preposition? This is actually a more important question. So what is not a preposition? Not a preposition would be things like a question. So is earth flat? Is earth flat? Well, maybe. Um, so if, if the answer is maybe, if it's a question, it is not a preposition. You cannot use this in logic. And the other example of not, um, uh, not a preposition would be an opinion. So if you say things like, I think Earth is flat. I think Earth is flat. Now that's an opinion. Maybe you're right, maybe not. But we cannot use this as a preposition and we cannot use logic um, to, to try to uh, justify it. So it has to be something that is, uh, only has two possible answers, either true or false. And this right here is what we call the truth value. This is called the truth value. 
basically whether the proposition is true or false, the truth value. So this is how we would write this in, um, in the logical terms. So basically, P is our preposition, and P here is that Earth is flat. And it can be either true or false. Now, in logic, we have, we have something called negation. And negation is basically the opposite of the preposition. Uh, in other words, it's like saying not. Negation re refers to as not. It's uh, in the book it, or in, on your test, it will be written like this, like a little uh, line with a little line here. Uh, on your paper, you can actually do either this or you can also write it like this. So this is not. And here, not P, I'm going to write it like they do in the book, not P is that, what? Not P is that Earth, did I even spell Earth? I totally did. Earth, Earth is not flat. Earth is not flat. And that's really it. That's what negation means. And we've actually done this before, but we've done, we did this differently in Venn diagrams. Here, essentially, negation was P prime. This was called a complement. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for a complement of our first preposition. So if I were to redraw this as a Venn diagram with a universal set right here, this would be a circle in the middle called P. And then this over here would be P prime. So this is P prime. So this is our P preposition. And this is our not P. And that's essentially what this means. So essentially, uh, preposition and negation are kind of like Venn diagrams, but uh, in sentence format. However, in logic, instead of using Venn diagrams, we often use tables. So, and these are called truth tables. So I'm going to write it right here. Truth table, which is actually something you will have on your, um, on your formula sheet as well. Truth table is... Um, it's a table that kind of looks like this, where you often have uh, P and not P on top. And then you'll have all values that are possible for each of these um, uh, prepositions. So it's either true or false. And this can be either false or true. So if one is true, then the other one false. And if one is false, then the other one must be true. And truth table is essentially how we're going to be doing this. We're going to be dealing with a lot of truth tables. They are also, I'm going to show it to you in a second, but they are uh, on your formula sheet. And here, truth tables are essentially all possible values, all possible truth values um, that are presented in a table. So that they're presented in a table format. And on your test, you're actually expected to write your answers in either truth table um, or Venn diagram, but more, more likely you'll be asked to, to do this. All right, so this is actually it in a nutshell. Uh, in the next video, we're going to do some examples, but here, let me just summarize everything. So logic is divided into three types. There's abductive, inductive, and deductive. Also, all logic is based on prepositions, and prepositions are essentially statements that can either be true, they can either be true, or they can be false, true or false. Um, the prepositions can also have a negation, and negation is written as not the preposition, not P. So this is basically the opposite of P, and of course, this can also be rewritten in Venn diagram format as... P and not P. So this is this is basically uh, the introduction to logic. This is chapter 8.1. And in the next video, we'll do more examples and we'll focus more on truth tables. Thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye-bye.